welcome back to my channel. My name is Denise and this is D Luna DIY Mom. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys another DIY grocery store stand that I made for my kids and I use mainly Michael's um, items and I went after Easter. So I did get some Easter after Easter sales and I used the 20% and I also want to, for all those who are new to my channel, here is how the picture of my thumbnail looks for my previous video of how I made my DIY pretend uh, grocery store stand. And that one I made from scratch and I did use recycled items that I found around my house that I had used for previous projects and it was just like a Frankenstein project, kind of. But it did last my kids six months, which is really great because kids usually, you know, they destroy things. You just have to get used to that. And my daughter would uh, color on it. So I decided that I w uh, that was time to DIY another one. And if you go and buy a grocery store stand, um, at the store, at the store, at the toy store, Target, or anything like that, it will range uh, to a hundred dollars. You know, so this one I think it cost me about I would say the most forty dollars, and it is uh, more sturdy than the one that I did before. So please keep on watching if you want to see how I did this, and let's get started, guys. So this was my first DIY pretend grocery store stand and as you see my daughter tagged on it a little bit on top of the wood and the PVC is worn out. It is also a little bit unstable because I didn't find the correct um, materials to attach it. So next we're going to get uh, the things that we need for this project. And I went to Michael's because I wanted more sturdy wood. The wood I used before was a hand-me-down wood and I was Frankenstein it. So Lowe's is where you can find some PVC. I also have this um, 90 degree edge. The magnets also you can find it from the warehouse. And this uh, sample paint, my daughter likes purple. And in Amazon, I got the end caps that attach to the wood. At the Dollar Tree, I got the self laminating sheets. And I already had these craft sticks, but you can also find them at the Dollar Tree. And these um, DIY banners that you can find it for the Dollar Tree as well. From Dice of Japan, I did get this wall hook and purple fabric that I already had. Don't forget to get some screws and we're gonna screw together the four crates and this wooden plank. I'm going to remove this middle part to see if the um, crates are going to fit nicely. And that's what I'm doing right here. I'm using my um, hammer and I'm trying to be as careful as possible not to remove the other planks from their place. So this took me a little bit of time and um, a little bit of uh, patience. So there you have it. This wooden box, I had it from Trader Joe's that I had my flowers for the spring. So I screwed those onto the plank as well. Now after that, I'm gonna screw the two top crates to the plank. And there you have it. And also I screwed the PVC on top of that plank, as you saw in the previous video. Using the sample paint that I got from Lowe's, I already had it and I paint the four crates in the front, inside, and in the back. So I use craft sticks, I cut both edges and as you see, it's pretty self-explanatory getting my hot glue gun and putting it on the edge and making some um, dividers for the money that my daughter's gonna use for their pretend plane. And 
I just put the fabric on top with some sticker letters and the DIY banner that I already had from the previous video. And I went uh, to Microsoft Office to make these, um, I would say, um, labels and I'm laminating them and I'm going to put some magnetizing on the back so as you saw I put it in the magnet board and that's how it looks guys my kids were thrilled with it Take us here. What's what's that? So here we have. So he was for two dollars. He was for four dollars. He was for five dollars. He was for one dollar. Another one for one dollar. Nice. It is the farmers market. So we're gonna sell a few items, right? Yeah. Okay. So and right here you have your money, right? Where you're going to charge. So we're going to learn a little bit about money, correct, Layla? Yes. We're going to learn how to do some transactions for markets. And here we have our little cart that we're going to use to play, yeah. correct? And here's what you said, you're not making the mobile. Right. Awesome. Okay. And then go. you can go to, the, to your little house that we did last time, right? We did a DIY on your little house. And you have your, your stroller. <laughs> And you can make, uh, you can go to the grocery store and go back home to do your cooking, correct? Yeah. If you, if you don't have food, if, you, if your house is empty, then you don't have food, then you just go clean. Hello, we'll go to and then you can go pay, and then that's yeah. how you go back to your home, and then start eating. Correct. You don't forget to pay, correct, when you go to the grocery store. Yeah, you have to pay because all of you will get in trouble. Exactly. And right here, do you want to um, pretend it's your outdoor um, table set or do you want to make it into a restaurant? A restaurant. Restaurant? Okay, perfect. All right, so let's say bye. Bye. I hope you guys like your the market. I like it. Okay, you have two ice creams, two dollars, please. Thank you. Okay. No, solo uno está bien. Thank you. You're welcome. Here's your change. Thank you. is actually two and two I mean sorry two and 
two is how much? Twenty. No, two and two. Quanto is? Fifty. No, two and two. How much is it? Two. Uh -huh. How much is it? Four. Exactly. Four. So then you just add the zero. So twenty and twenty is forty. And add one. Fifty. This is fifty dollars. How many um how many are these worth? So, 25, 25, 25. 25 cents each, right? So how many is that? 25 and 25 is 50 and 25 is 75 cents. So it's 50 dollars and 75 cents. Okay? I just said 50, so I'm okay with this money. Okay? Or you could have given me a you could have given me a hundred dollar bill and I have to give you fifty back. Okay? So either way you could have done like that, okay? But thank you. Bye. Hi guys, so I hope you really enjoyed this. I put in that little clip of how we were playing and how my kids um, reacted to this grocery store. So it's teaching them a lot of things. It's teaching them math and role play, social emotional development, taking turns. So when we're there and I'm mediating the play time, they, I notice a lot of things that they come up with on their own. So I wanted to capture a little bit of that and share it with you guys. So I hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And see you guys in the next DIY video, guys. Bye.